trigonometric ratios in shared form. This question is asking us to find the shared form sine of 120 degrees. With the modern calculator, if you just write in sine 120 degrees in the calculator, it gives the answer automatically in shared form. So it makes no sense really to be asked to do much more than this with the question. So the answer is root three over two. And this is the most accurate answer. If for some reason you're asked to do this without a calculator, which is a bit of nonsense, but um, what you might realize is that 120 degrees is related to 60 degrees. And if you think about a caste system, you'd realize that in the second quadrant, the sine of any angle here is positive. So the size of sine 120 will be the same as sine 60, and it's positive. So if you could work out and evaluate sine 60, it would have the same answer. The solution to sine 60 is given in the tables book, um, but we should also know it by heart. There is a more formal approach to doing this as well, using either double angle formulas, because 120 is 60 plus 60, or um, compound angle formulas. So there's a rule that says sine of 2a is 2 sine a cos a. And we could work out sine a, which is root 3 over 2, and cos a cos 60, which is a half. So 2 times this would be root 3 over 2. That's a more formal approach, although it's not covered in this chapter. In question 2, we've been asked to evaluate cos of 225 degrees. Using the calculator, we can see that the just typing it in, it gives the answer in third form. So the answer is negative root 2 over 2. Uh, it relates to cos of 45 degrees, but it's negative. Uh, using the calculator is the practical approach to this. However, if you want to adopt a more formal approach, you again could use the that cos of 225 is cos of 180 plus 45 degrees. And so we're going to use a pretty good formula here that's cos A plus cos B. And we should be able to evaluate cos and sine of 180 and 45 degrees. It's giving us some tools to do this because we're going to be dealing with circle and the triangle is 45 degrees. So cos of a plus b, given in the log tables, is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. In this, this question, let's call a is 180 degrees and b is 45 degrees. So if we're trying to evaluate cos of 180 degrees multiplied by cos of 45 degrees minus sine of 180 degrees multiplied by sine of 45 degrees. And we should know the answers for each of these individually. They are given in the log tables. We could use the calculator as well. So cos 180 degrees and the unit circle is negative one. Cos 45 is one over root two. Uh, we're subtracting this from sine 180, which is zero. So the second part of this is gonna be zero when we multiply it out. So the answer to this is negative uh, one over root two. We don't like leaving the irrational number underneath. So we multiply above and below by root two and we see this is written as negative root two over two, the same answer as the calculator gave us. It's a more formal approach. Mm -hmm.